Next, now I'm going to teach about a deadlock safe state. Okay, now we have a allocation table and a max table. So we need a neat table. For the for the neat table, the formula is max minus allocation. Okay, so you uh, will get a value of four, three, and one for process one. You will get seven, four, three, and for the process two, you will get z uh, zero, one, one. For process three, we will get one, two. Two for, for 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 the process four, you will get six zero zero. Okay, now now we, we need to create an available table. The formula is instance minus with allocation. So I stated the instance for A is ten instances, for B is five instances, for C is seven instances. Now, so we, we will have to add up in A. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. So 10 minus 7 is 3. 3. Is, and just follow us as that. 3. So the available table will be 3, 3, 2. Okay. Now, we will use safety, safety algorithm to check to check whether the system is in safe condition or not okay, no. for process 0 the formula for safety algorithm is need it's lesser than equal available so now we start with process 0 process 0 is 4 3 one less than equal with the available three three two so now as you see the need is is larger than the available table so it is false it's false okay now so we will get we will, we will proceed to the next process that's process one for process one is seven four three less than equal three three two so this also same so this is goes to false and for the four for the process two is zero one one less than or equal 3 3 2 as you see the need is lesser than the available so it is true when it is true you need to update a new available table We need to update the available table and release what it holds in allocation. Okay. Update A B C. As stated in allocation table, the for the process two is two one one. So we will add up with three three two. So it will be five five four and three. Okay, now I'll proceed, proceed to the process 3. Process 3 is 1, 2, 2, lesser than equal, 5, 4, 3. So now it's smaller than the available, so it's true. Okay, now, now we need to update again. Just the same formula so the new 
available table uh, available table is will be is seven four three okay now I'll pro proceed to process four process four is three zero two less than equal seven four three so it's true so we'll update again The location for process 4 is 302. So we we'll add up. Add up will become 10, 4, 5. Okay. So now which is false? We, we have to roll back. We we'll, we we'll, sorry. We will have to roll roll back which value is false. So we will back to process 0. Process 0. Process 0 is 4. 3 1 so less than equals 3 hey, sorry is the new value is 10 4 and 5 so now it will be a true because the available table is bigger than the need table so I'll update, I'll update it again So the new value for process 0 is 10, 4, 7. Okay. Now for the process 1, which is false. For the process 1 is 7, 4, 3, less than equal 10, 4, 7. Okay, now it is true because the need table is less than the available so we'll have a new table So we will follow up with the allocation table. So the new value for available is 10, 5, 7. As you see, the available table, as you see, the new available table is 10, 5, 7. It's same with the instances. A is 10, B is 5, and C is 7. So it's a safe state. So, so it is written as safe state. The save sequence sequence for execution is we have to follow up which is true. So the first one it will be the process two and process three, process four, process zero, and process one. Okay. Thank you.